Well, listen, guys, I'm P, and he's back with another video. And yes, we have got some big Newcastle news today. Unfortunately, nothing to do with the takeover and bad Newcastle news. So, yep, uh, Matty Longstaff has set the lead of the club after being offered 30 grand a week to play Savio football. 30 grand, like, just considering how mental that is, right? And Newcastle right now, I think he's on like 700 quid a week or something. Like, 30 grand a week. He's, he's 19, but, yep, um, you're not ever going to turn that down. I can say that straight away. Um, even if you love Newcastle that much, 30 grand a week for someone that's 19, you, you're never, ever, ever going to say no to that. Uh, it's just meant um, we, uh, as a club, should have offered him money earlier because for a start, uh, what, 700 quid a week for someone that scored a win against Manchester United, a guy that plays Premier League football, a person that scored against Watchdale in the FA Cup. You know, he's, he's done a little bit for the club, but the fact that he's done less than a grand a week is just mental. And also, he's putting a lot of that money aside for the NHS as well. Like, it's just crazy. How are we not offering him a contract? I mean, it is going to be a steal for um, Undenis. If I pronounce that right, I don't think I have. But it's going to be a steal for them if they get Mighty Longstaff on a free because he's a quality player. In my opinion, he's better than Sean Longstaff. Uh, I don't know why, before we start with him, bench Mighty Longstaff. He's always in the reserves. I, I don't get that. He's a good player. But just how it rolls sometimes. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Um, smash the like button you enjoy. Of course, whenever Newcastle news comes out, whether it's uh, transfers, take or anything like that, I will always report on it. But... Yeah, be a bit flat last week with Japan, I made any videos, just nothing to make videos on, just as simple as that. Sorry guys, but uh, yep, yeah, I got at least three awards on Thursdays, same as always, hopefully we get something good in them. And um, at some point I'm going to do a Newcastle collection, say all the autographs, and stuff like that, I'm going to do a video just showing all that. So yep, yeah, look forward to that, but mighty long stuff, like I said, he's more like 700 quid a week, like why would you ever stay in Newcastle? How will you let mighty long stuff go on a free, I will never know it. The guy has literally scored a winner against Manchester United on his debut. How can you give him away on a free? I don't understand that. The club is backwards. Um, unfortunately, as Newcastle fans, stuff like this happens all the time. Ron Don Raffini has last year. The same stuff happens all the time. Our best players go. And we'll replace it with players that just aren't as good. Joe Linton, Steve Bruce. I mean, just just a no-brainer. You know, 21. So, um, and, of course, get rid of Matty Long stuff. We're going to bring in someone like... Oh, I don't even know who we're going to bring in. Probably get Jack Cole back on the team. Well, Jack Cole back, come back in. Come back in soon. They'll be doing something like that. But, yep, yeah, uh, it's just mental. Um, the fact that teams like Inter Milan, Marcy have been trying to get bids in, but Unionese is the first team that's striked and the one that's actually put a place in. But uh, there's no way. He's not turning down 30 grand a week. He is definitely getting sold. So it's just as simple as that. I can't blame the lads. You can't say for one second, like, listen, Matty, you let the club down. You can't say that at all. It's his choice, and there's a clear, better choice. If I was in that situation, I would definitely pick the Serie A club. Like, why would you stay in Newcastle? I mean, what's the point? But, um, yeah, listen, fair enough. Thought it goes well for him, but a bit good he's left. Um, he is seriously a player that could have been improved in our club, especially if take what happens, he would be definitely a future prospect. But, yeah, but I just had to make some more. Just had to make some more good future players. But, pretty much that, that's it. Let me know your opinions. Do you think he's going to stay in Newcastle? Hey, he's not staying, I'll just tell you that. But, let me know your opinions, No. If he does somehow stay, I mean, fair enough. But in my opinion, if he was going to stay, we've already made a move for it or offer him a contract. I think we did offer him a contract, but it's just no one, yeah, what a club like Unionis is offering a 30 grand a week. I mean, it's not even many 19 year olds around world football have been offered 30 grand a week. Like, apart from obviously the top tier ones, like your Mbappe's, your Harrens, your stuff like that. I mean, has he been Anzu Fatty on 30 grand a week? I know he's 16, but. He's definitely one for the future. Is, is he even on that much? Like, it's just mental how much uh, a club like Unionese is offering for Mighty Longstaff. I mean, a club, right? Like, Unionese, who ha I, I don't, have they even won a trophy before? Like, I don't even know. The fact they're offering 30 grand a week, whereas at our club, £700 a week. A Premier League club offering £700 a week. Just crazy. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are watching the video. I know it's a bit of a disappointing one, but Mighty Longstaff, I mean, fair enough. Hope it goes well for him in the future, but... Yeah, we're going to get some more youngsters now because we have just lost our best one on a free. So, frustrating, but it's in Cassie United for you. But hope you guys enjoy watching and yes, I'll see you all later.